In this video, I'm going to talk about the new Glitter feature available in Goose Shader version 2.1. Glitter is available under Special Effects, Glitter. And you can turn it on, and your avatar will immediately have some glitter on it, as you can see. Glitter has plenty of various uh, options for you to customize it to exactly what you need. You can put your own texture on here, you can do Q uh, and saturation shifts, you can do automatic blinking, you can do manual blinking, uh, you can affect the amount of it, the order of it, uh, mask it, determine where it appears, etc. You can even use your own uh, UV channel if you want. For example, here's a panosphere. We have some uh, glitter examples available in the GUTU folder, glitter materials right here. And as you can see, we have some materials right here, showcase various setups for glitter. And you can end up using these as well. Like for example, what if I want to use this rainbow angle blinking one? You can go ahead and select the body here and find the material. And right click, select material so we know which one it is. So it's this one right here. Now we can go ahead and right click on the glitter tab, copy. Go to our goo right here and paste it. I'm actually going to duplicate this and put our material on there. So we've pasted the glitter here, but something isn't right. And uh, what's going on here actually is that uh, this uh, rainbow angle blinking one is using a bunch of math and math as oscillators that uh, this copy and paste isn't going to copy. So we need to take note of which ones we're using here and also copy them over. So for example, we're using this uh, mask, uh, this rim mask channel. It's mask three off the rim. So we can go ahead to mask channel, copy this and go back to our goo right here and paste it uh, into rim three. Um, it doesn't have to be RIM3. If you're already using RIM3, you can go ahead and put this in a different um, mass channel if you'd like. As you can see, it already shows up. Uh, the other thing that we need to do is set up these mask as oscillators. So we're using two different mask as oscillators. It's going to be modulation uh, right here, glitter hue. It's going to be using that same um, mask. So I'm just going to copy this right here, go back to our material and paste it into there. And as you can see, now we have this glitter copied over onto our material. Awesome. So yeah, you can go ahead and maybe find a glitter that you like here, or just go ahead and try to configure the glitter to your liking. All these properties have documentation on them so you can learn more about what they're doing. And you can also dig through the, uh, the various presets that we have here and see what they're doing to get the specific look that they have. Yeah, that's about it. Have fun.